Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about business continuity option available for a raw SQL database as active geo replication. So in the previous video, we have studied about failover groups under business continuity. Another way is active geo replication. Here for the database, we are going to replicate the data to a secondary database, okay, which is known as GeoReplica. And GeoReplicas reside on a different logical server from the primary and protect against regional failures or prolonged data center outage. So this GeoReplication helps in terms of business continuity when there is a regional failure or data center outage. Active Geo Replication is a feature that lets you create continuously synchronized readable secondary database for a primary database. We have our primary database, Azure SQL database. We create this Active Geo Replication and create a new secondary database, which is readable and synchronized with the primary. The readable secondary database may be in the same Azure region as the primary or more commonly in a different region. Here, the difference between the previous video where we created failover groups, the region must be different for the secondary database. But here, the readable secondary database could be in the same region too. This kind of readable secondary database is known as geo secondary or geo replica. So the term given for the secondary database is geo secondary or geo replica because it's a replica of the primary database. Active geo replication is designed as a business continuity solution that lets you perform quick disaster recovery of individual databases in case of a regional disaster or a large scale outage. So as I said, that is a business continuity solution along with the failover groups. We can also make active geo replication for the database and this will help us in disaster recovery for business continuity. Once your application is set up, you can initiate a geo failover to a geo secondary in a different Azure region. If for any reason your primary database fails, you can initiate a geo failover to any of your secondary databases. When a secondary is promoted to the primary role, all secondaries, all other secondaries are automatically linked to the new primary. Okay. So if there is a primary server and there are multiple secondary, then if a secondary is promoted as primary, then all the other secondaries will be linked to that new primary. Regional redundancy provided by GeoReplication enables applications to quickly recover from a permanent loss of an entire Azure region or parts of the region caused by natural disasters, catastrophic human errors or malicious acts. So here is how the applications could be functional in terms of any natural calamity, disaster or error for that region. So these statements for the business continuity active geo replication is taken from the standard documentation by Microsoft. Here, if you go to the Microsoft Learn under the Azure SQL documentation under the concepts and business continuity, we have active geo replication, which states in detail about active geo replication and the different configurations of active geo replication and there is another section under the same SQL documentation under the tutorials for active geo replication how we can configure this active geo replication and failover in the Azure SQL database. So this configuration or tutorial we are going to demo in this video. So let's quickly go to the portal and create a SQL DB. So first we'll create a primary database. Subscription resource group already there. We'll name it as let's say demo geo replication primary. 
Okay, so this is the primary database. Server, we'll create a new server. We'll name it as Geo Replication Primary Server. Geo Replication Primary Server. Location is East US for this one. Authentication method we'll apply here and write server admin login ck is equal db let's say we'll give the password and click ok so the server is set no for the elastic pool workload environment is development because it's for demo purpose so as soon as we click on development the compute and storage will be serverless Backup storage will leave locally redundant backup storage will go to the networking section. For the demo purpose, the connectivity will make it as public endpoint. Firewall rules, so we'll make both as yes for this demo. Connection policy, like let it be default. Let's go to the security section. We start the free trial for the Microsoft Defender. Then again, we'll go to the next tab, additional settings, enable the sample data source, adventure works for this and to the tags to review and create. Yep. So we'll now click on create and we'll wait for the SQL database deployment to complete. So here we can see that the deployment is complete. Let's go to the resource. So here is our SQL database. Next we'll go to the overview. So here we can see that the database is created with the name demo geo replication primary and the other details are in the overview tab. So in order to create geo replication replicas that is secondary replica, geo replica or geo secondary we have in the left side under the data management section we have replicas so we'll click on replicas so here in the replicas we will click on create replica and create SQL database geo replica page will open and by default the subscription resource group primary database and the database details are grayed out because the replica is created with the same name as the primary database. Okay. Here's an option. We can let the server be same. Okay. As the primary database or we can create a new server. So we will create a new server. So let, let's name this server as SQL. CK SQL DB secondary. Location, it could be the same in this case of geo replication, but we will try to make the location different so that if an outage occurs in one region, the other region is not affected. So we'll take South Central US maybe and the authentication will select CK SQL DB. Let's click OK. So the new server is selected for this geo replica. Then we have the options for elastic pool. No. Compute and storage. We want it to be the same as primary. We'll go to the networking. Firewall rules. Allow Azure services and resources to access the server. So for this demo, we'll keep it as Yes, we'll go to the additional settings. We'll leave it as default. We'll go to review and create and we'll create this replica. Click on create. Deployment is initializing here. Now at submitting deployment state. And the deployment is complete after a few minutes. We'll click on go to resource. So we are under the main or the primary database. We'll go again under the data management replicas section. And you can see 
that the geo replica is loading and since we have created this secondary or the geo replica here the name of the database will be same as the primary and the server we created a new server so that server name ckc equal db secondary is showing here we selected a different region that region is showing here and the pricing tier replica state so the replica is in readable state here and the primary details of the database are shown in the first row so this is primary detail in the first row and geo replica detail here so in order to perform the failover we have these dots here to open the context menu for this geo replica we'll click here and we have the option of forced failover here after this forced failover the secondary replica will become primary and primary will become secondary replica they will interchange the role so let's perform forced failover let's click here and upon clicking we get this prompt which says force failover will switch your secondary to the primary role the old primary geo replication primary server will automatically become the new secondary if it is online all tds connections will be disconnected this operation may cause data loss are you sure you want to proceed so we want to proceed let's click yes request is submitted here it will take some time to reflect the changes here so let's wait for some time and then we'll click on refresh so as soon as we click on refresh we could see for the primary the replica state is pending and for the secondary or the geo replica it is way lower so as soon as they exchange the role we could see the replica state again here yep so we could see that the secondary is now moved to the primary section south central us the secondary server which we have created and the primary has moved to the secondary role it's still in pending and failover state let's wait for some more time so now you could see the status of the new primary geo replica status online and for the primary which is now converted to secondary we could see it readable so they have exchanged the role and we have successfully performed the geo replication so if we go to the tutorial so in the tutorial mentioned here in the documentation the same way we have to configure the active geo replication if we go down into the documentation so after we initiated this force failover in about 30 seconds or less they exchanged the role there is a short period during which both databases are unavailable so we could see that for some duration they both were unavailable online status was not there so on the order of 0 to 25 seconds while the roles are switched so when the roles were switching we could not see the online status right if the primary database has multiple secondary database the command automatically reconfigures the other secondaries to connect to the new primary the entire operation should take less than a minute to perform to complete under normal circumstances so i hope you have got the idea of active geo replication as a business continuity plan in azure sql database how we have to configure it in the portal how we can exchange the role so thank you for watching the video happy learning bye